Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for another Tarot and Oracle deck card review. And this is going to be the Tarot of the Dream Enchantress review. A very interesting deck by Lo Scarabeo, and there are 78 cards included in this box. Artwork by Marco Nazzoli. And I just received these less than an hour ago, so I will be reviewing them for the first time as I'm doing the video. And I love, love, love this idea where the plastic comes off easy. Look at that. You don't even need to take scissors or sharp object to uh, take the plastic off because I get so nervous doing that, thinking I'm going to damage the cards. This is wonderful. Looks like it opens up like a pack of cigarettes would with that pull tab. And there's just like a little flap here. Doesn't get any easier than that. <laughs> that is wonderful. Uh, so hats off to whoever decided to wrap it in that type of plastic. Absolutely wonderful compared to some of that shrink wrap that's impossible to get off. box that it comes in is a very simple, simple box. Nothing special. Wish the box was made of a more durable material, but that's okay. Uh, inside, we're going to find the 78 cards. We have a very basic, basic guidebook. Nothing fancy. It's going to give you the instructions in English, Italian, Spanish, French, Dutch, a little bit of a layout. It's going to tell you what the symbols are, the knave, the knight, the queen, and the king. Okay, and then it's going to tell you um, all of the cards. Very, very brief description, maybe, what, two, three sentences. And sometimes that's all you need. I usually don't even look at these guidebooks, but it's handy to have um, the uh, languages that are in here, again, are four or five different languages. Uh, as far as the English explanation, there's only about 14 pages on it, so it's just this that you're going to have. And I'm sure each section is the same amount of pages. And then the cards themselves are nice cards. They're slender cards, which I prefer. Not too big, not too small. Okay, And... The backs of the cards, very beautiful artwork. Look at how beautiful the green and the amber colors. And let's take a look at the cards. Okay, here we have the fool. Okay, there he is with his dog. Very delicate artwork. Kind of reminds you of like a watercolor type. And here we have the magician. And it's a woman, usually the magician's a man. Okay, we have the high priestess. Now, the words are not going to be on the cards, so it may be a little bit of a challenge for someone who's new to Tarot, okay? But if you're a professional card reader or someone who's very familiar, um, you also need to know Roman numerals because we won't have just regular numbers. So you'll need to know that this would be card number two. Here's the Empress. Again, it won't say the Empress. It'll just be card number three in Roman numerals. Four for the Emperor, five for the Hierophant. It looks pretty nasty. <laughs> Look at how strict his face is. Wow. <laughs> and there's going to be some nudity in this deck. So if you're not interested in a card deck that has nudity, you would not, you know, necessarily purchase this. To me, it's tastefully done. I have no problem with it. Okay, this is card number six. Card seven. Okay, the Chariot. You have the, the red and the horses. Okay, card number eight. Card number nine. Card ten. Eleven. Okay, we have the hangman, number twelve. And it's a woman. Okay, used to the hanged man. Well, this is the hanged woman, but still the same. And it's card number seven. Or, I'm sorry, <laughs> card number 12. My eyes are going here. Um, and then we have, beautiful. And again, Roman numerals on the top and bottom. We've got temperance here, which is card 14. Card 15. 16. 17. Star. We have the moon. And we have the sun, okay, which is card 19. Beautiful, beautiful artwork. Gorgeous. Again, a little bit of nudity, but tastefully done. Now we get into, we're, we're going to have regular numbers. It's no longer going to be 
the Roman numerals. Okay, so we have one, which stands for the ace. We have the symbol, which is the cup. So this would be the ace of cups, with the one cup. Okay, the two of cups. We have the two cups here. The three of cups, and they're dancing around. Again, nude, but again, tasteful. Four of cups. We have this crab here coming out, scorpion. Five of cups. Six of cups. Seven of cups. Eight of cups. Nine of cups. Put the nine cups down here. Got the ten of cups with the cups floating above her head. She's uh, sitting, uh, looks like beneath the sea. Looks like she's underwater here. And her hair is like tentacles. Interesting. Okay, and now we get into the page symbol. That would be the page symbol, okay, of cups. Okay, and then we have the knight of cups. The queen of cups. The king of cups. Now, this is interesting. These are all women in these pictures. Normally, the king would be a man, but it's a very feminine woman. And then we get into one, which is the ace of pentacles. We have the pentacle here. Okay, two of pentacles. She's sitting on top of a mushroom. And we have three of pentacles. Again, very feminine women. Uh, it's a very feminine gentle energy type of deck four of pentacles five of pentacles six of pentacles seven of pentacles eight of pentacles nine of pentacles i like all the green the green surrounding them and they're they're growing plants in the ground and Trees are lush, very beautiful. Ten of pentacles, and again, it's three women. And then we get to the page of pentacles, the knight of pentacles, the queen of pentacles. And I would think that she would have been dressed in green. I wouldn't think that she'd be dressed in red. Red to me is a very powerful, um, how could I say it? A very bold color and I would think that this would be the Queen of Swords that would be dressed in red but they have the Queen of Pentacles in red very interesting and then we have the King of Pentacles and then we get into the wands we have one which is the ace of wands two of wands you have two wands here in the background three of wands and you have one, two, and three. Interesting, they're standing in the water. They have like a crab pot here. They're catching fish. Four of wands, and you have the four wands up here. Five of wands. Six of wands. And I don't believe I see six wands in this picture at all. All I'm seeing is this one here. Okay, and we have the seven of wands with this woman and this little child sitting down. The eight of wands, the nine of wands. And I love the colors in these cards. The yellow is so bright and cheerful. The green is so deep and beautiful. Uh, very nice colors, very delicate energy, very feminine energy. 10 of wands, that's interesting, where their bodies are coming out of the tree trunk. Looks like their hair is growing into the branches. Then we have the Page of Wands and the Knight of Wands on a cat instead of a horse. Interesting. And then we have the Queen of Wands, the King of Wands. Then we have the One of Swords, which is the Ace of Swords, the Two of Swords. We have the Two Swords here, the Three of Swords. The Four of Swords, and you have one, two, three, four. We're used to seeing the Four of Swords where they're laying down. These two are sitting up. Five of Swords. 
the six of swords. Three here and three there, six. Seven of swords. Looks like she's about to jump off this cliff here. Looks like there's animals jumping past here. The eight of swords. The nine of swords. The ten of swords. And the page of swords. The knight of swords. The queen of swords. And the king of swords. Again, a woman as the king. All of the kings are represented by a woman. Very interesting cards. Um, like I said, it may be a little bit of a challenge if you're not used to the Roman numerals. Um, these aren't uh, traditional uh, tarot deck, which might be easier to learn from to begin with and then advance to this. Uh, as far as the shuffling goes, very easy to shuffle. Very nice uh, semi-gloss cards, kind of like a matte finish, a little bit of a glossiness to them. Beautiful artwork. Very nice, nice deck. Um, very happy with this purchase, and this will be a welcome addition to my ever-growing tarot deck. If you've enjoyed this review, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back with more reviews.